what's going on everybody this is island hopper tv hotels coming to you from the grand hyatt here in tampa so this is right next to the airport valley of parking and parking costs could be some valuable information for some of you So, here's the check-in area. Let's check in right there. When you come in. We have the elevators here. We've got the convenience store. This is a lobby and lounge. Lounge bar and restaurant. So here we are on the second level, and here they have the fitness center. You can see Pools over here. On the first level. the hours of operation for the pool all right so here's a look at the room now Got two robes there tub This is a double bedroom, you can see here. There's the view of the Tampa Bay Airport. Delta taxiing right there. You can see downtown way off in the distance. So we are quite a far away. But um, let's see what they got in the mini fridge here. It seems like these days, no one ever stocks the mini fridge. Nope. The mini fridge is a thing of the past in the United States, apparently. But there you go. Two free waters, some coffee. Okay, guys. So I have finally made it to Atlanta after about 10 days in Florida. I did a few days in Tampa and a, about a week or plus in Orlando. For those of you who watched our hotel travel guides, hopefully they were helpful. Uh, I stayed at quite a few Hyatts. Uh, I started to really enjoy staying at Hyatts. I usually go with Marriott or um, uh, Hilton, uh, but I've started to really appreciate these Hyatts. Right now I'm in Atlanta at a Hilton, so expect that one coming soon. Now in regards to this hotel, it's about 37 years old, so it is an older property. 
the room was very cozy, comfortable, felt modern. Uh, so no real grievances with the room. It was a little bit more small and compact, but that's okay. The uh, location, it's way out there. I mean, an Uber driver said, well, they really uh, put this one quite far out there, uh, meaning you got to go out of the way. It's, it's off the freeway, but it's not easily accessible by the freeway. You have to drive about a minute or two, uh, just kind of wandering around the streets before you can actually get on the freeway. It is really close to the airport, although, again, getting to the airport is a windy route, uh, going over and under and then up onto the freeway and then around. So even though it's close to the airport, it's not conveniently close. The food there was good quality. I had a quesadilla and I also had um, some other snacks at the convenience store. I found that to be very convenient. The uh, DoorDash actually delivered my dinner just because I was feeling like something other than um, hotel food. The pool, it seemed like there was a lot of people there and I didn't actually want to go there. It just seemed like a lot of people were just lounging. Uh, that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. It just means that it, it wasn't exactly a place that I would go because it was already full. <laughs> um, the customer service I felt was good. Obviously, I'm becoming more and more of a fan of Hyatt. Uh, Tampa Bay in general, I was looking for the best area to stay. I'm not convinced it's down there by the airport um, unless you're flying out or you have a flight. You know, There's no real reason to stay at the Tampa Bay airport, maybe uh, for a convention. I'm not really sold on downtown Tampa being a great place either. So I would say if you come to Tampa, you're better off going towards Clearwater or St. Pete. That would just be my recommendation. And I didn't stay in St. Pete this time. I've stayed at St. Pete other times, but just not this, this go around. Um, Tampa, downtown, I guess if you're gonna stay down there, you wanna be next to the convention center or the conference center on Water Street. That's about as good as it gets at JW Marriott. There's a little bit of nightlife, but not too much. Now, if you want a nightlife, you'll find that more on Howard Street or Hyde Park area. And this hotel I stayed at was about five miles away. That's pretty far, <laughs> uh, you know, about 15 to 20 minutes from any sort of uh, nightlife activities um, by car, Uber. But overall, I would say this hotel property earns a 4.6 so 4.7 is just because it's getting a little bit older, but everything else about it was totally fine. Um, the location also, I guess you could say that's another thing that could be a bit better, but the property itself, class act, luxury hotel, I'd say it's a four-star quality hotel by most standards, but for my, the way I rate it, I'd give it about a 4.6 to a 4.7. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Florida series and we'll see you from the rest of America uh, first starting out in Atlanta.